Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of a fun thing to do. I really like doing this in the morning. It's a very satisfying thing. Some of them <clears throat> had some glue on them and they're tougher to get, but that's no problem. They'll come off. And that noise is a very satisfying noise. I don't know why. Ah, it's kind of like popping a zit or something, you know? Boy, I was really sloppy glue in these. They'll come, don't worry. <clears throat> I thought about getting um, all Ukrainian colors as in support. <laughs> but, you know... It's really, I got a, I started doing that. I got quite a lot of them, you know. <laughs> Yay! It's a very satisfying sound. Um, you can see now the linings, and um, if there is any gaps, which I don't think there will be, then what you can do is take some really hot water and. Um, just wake up, wake up that joint, you know, as you, I call it waking it up. Um, boy, some of these, I was really just in the heat of gluing. You don't want to glue your, your clothespin to your ribs. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think there'll be any gaps. So the next phase is actually going to be, um, I'm going to build a bracket that go, a T bracket that goes from here to here. Um, so I can lift it off, off the dummy board. That's a really fun thing too. Lift it off the dummy board and it will keep its shape, you know. Um, But I need more coffee. Really, the sun is. Last night was uh, San Juan. Or San Juan in Castellano. Wow, these are. Some of these are just. I have to recap. I've never done any damage. Ooh, the, the actual clothespin <laughs> broke. <laughs> Yeah, better to better to get more coffee. Um, if there, if 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 the clothespin ex does accidentally get glued, um, you just put a dab dab a little bit of hot water. A lot of times it's just wiggling because they're, they're not, it's not going to be a lot of glue. You know what I mean? Usually. Um, yeah, I better do that. I'll just get some hot water because I, what I don't want is that I don't want this to um, lift off the rack. I mean, off the dummy board right now. I want to get my bracket in, so uh, I'll call you back when I get the bracket. Yeah, so I'm just making these. <laughs> just from scraps, this is, I mean, you could, make, you could make this really beautiful if you wanted to, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm just using any scrap that, that that's available and the way I fit these is that I mark I just set it on the block mark a line right it's kind of difficult so yeah so it's <clears throat> that's my little piece and you just saw it Gonna saw outside the line, you know, and then fit it perfectly. We'll see if it works. It might not work, <laughs> but look, you got plenty of scraps. <clears throat> I'm assuming you have plenty of scraps in your workshop, right? Or do you burn them in the wood stove? Oh, 
Uh, but there's something I want to point out. This is why we're, I was just going to glue this. Oh no. Okay, so that didn't work. I cut it too short. <laughs> Let's see, maybe. No, what happened? <laughs> anyway, yeah, the point is <clears throat> what you're trying to do. I'm going to have to do another one. Um, the glue is getting hot right now. Um, the point is, is that you're not putting any pressure. It's just fitting in here like that. Like it, you hear that little cut, 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 cut. That's what you want. You don't want to push the, the ribs, you know, which nah, it's pretty easy. But you just saw me fail. <laughs> Actually, you could just, um, no, that's not going to work. Okay, no big deal. Um, I'm going to cut and fit another one, and then I'm going to glue these in. Right, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> I actually screwed. I did another one, and it didn't work. <laughs> Need more coffee. So, <clears throat> yeah, I got, my glue is hot. It's really thick. And what I'm doing is um, I want to mark these spots where I'm going to glue, you know. So these just sort of cut, cut, they all fit in there. Using like really thick glue. And a lot of it. Right? Cut, cut, cut. Right? That's all. I mean, that is tight. Okay, so hopefully this one will work. Where is it? Where's my piece? <gasps> okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So it's just kind of fitting in here by itself. I'm going to glue it to here too. Just use a crap load of glue. Just slop it on there. Right? Oh, nice. So this is going to allow me to remove it from the dummy board and do all kinds of nasty things to it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm going to be able to keep my form here. So I, I guess I invented this. I don't know. Someone. Yeah. You'd be surprised, like, glue fills gaps. <laughs> like... Okay, yeah, I don't really have to fiddle with it. Um, now it's, now I have to wait. <laughs> yeah, don't, it's nice and fist, so I don't really need to touch it. Um, but isn't that cool though, how um, the, the, the dummy board now, it's just like a slaughterhouse, you know, it's like wah, pieces of, um, oh, and look, this, this, um, this Zulaga is, is still, still attached we need to get that off um so you'll notice that um look at the the beautiful light coming in you notice that um my rib miters are not done yet and there's a reason for that i'm gonna wait until it's off the dummy board and then i'm gonna do those very slowly with a very 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 sharp chisel and the reason that 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 I don't do that now, you would think, wow, well, that's easy because it's already, it's glued to the board and you don't have to hold it. You know, you got two free hands. But the reason that you wait is, um, you can actually start and do this, this side, but you cannot, you don't want to go all the way to the board because what can happen is, how to illustrate this. Okay, so this is, let's pretend that this is your rib here. When you cut all the way down to the board, it can break out and chip off, and then your ribs are gone. You can't use them. Um, so what you do is you, you do this part. I'll show you. I, I'm going to demonstrate this later when I do it, or if I do it, if I do it on camera, right? So your nice, clean rib miter. You can start this side if you want. You just don't want to go all the way to the board like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so now we wait um, at least three hours, probably better. What time is it now? It's like 10, it's 10 in the morning. People are still drunk outside. <laughs> Out in the street, there's a bunch of drunks. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. It's just debaucherous. Right, so it's been three hours. Um, the glue is dry enough um, to remove. I'm gonna remove it from the dummy board, woohoo! Um, first thing, um, I've got like a boiling, boiling hot water. Um, but remember our rule, remove all the tools that you don't wanna get wet. This can be a messy um, process. So, Actually, just like a general cleanup would be good. This is this is a, a damn mess right now. So, um, yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this should go pretty fast because you may notice that it's actually glued to a piece of paper, which was the. The Kieran Kieran Campbell of Iolone. So, this is just a dummy board for for everything, you know. Um, so, basically, just a palette knife, yeah. Hot water. I remember that this block was actually a little weird. So I'm gonna start and just come in under your block, and you're you're just wiggling. You're not forcing. You're not pushing. You're not forcing. And you're just trying to get under the, the tip here. Just, just wiggling, just wiggling. All right. No pressure. You're not shoving it in, just get it under there and wiggle. So it looks like it's going, it's going under the paper, which is fine. Um, because, all right, and this is your careful cat moment. Let's say you have this glued directly to the dummy board and you're coming in, uh, you're coming in here, I'm gonna, looks like I may be coming in above the paper. What you really want to avoid is putting the palette knife, let me see, how to explain this? This is really important. When you have your palette knife in here under the, um, under your block, this area where there is no block um, is very fragile because there's nothing behind it. It really is just a 1.2, 1.3 millimeter piece of wood, a rib, obviously. So what you don't want to do is put any kind of tension on it, you know? Okay, there you see the, the tip of the palette knife is like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I guess you're gonna feel that when you're removing this from your dummy board, you're gonna feel that these areas are fragile and they are. So one advantage to this paper method, it's gonna look crappy. When I pull this off, it's gonna be really ugly on the other side, but that's okay. It's not gonna be broken. So yeah, so hot water, slowly wiggling, slowly wiggling. Um, the bottom and top blocks generally take a lot longer. Or this could go really fast. Sometimes this can go, this can be a pain in the butt, man. You know? I mean, when you glue this to your, <clears throat> to your dummy board, you want it to stay. <laughs> so... Actually, you know what would be the easiest is to go under the paper like this. So here, for example, here and here, careful. Yeah, okay. So you see the palette knife? You see the tip of it wiggling? It's actually under the paper. So now my rib here is protected, but I still need to be careful because Look, you'll just be working and all of a sudden you'll hear this noise go <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna be crying. Crying pain. 
Alright. Yeah, so it's just it's just held by this is gonna go fast. So for your research and uh, research and development purposes, um, this paper trick works, but you're gonna see in a minute how damn ugly it looks on the other side. But that's all right. Just hot water and wiggling. You're basically just trying to get under the block, you know. So that's fine. Oh, we need music. Um, and so far, YouTube is not. Um, YouTube doesn't mind this record, and it's great. <laughs> um, it's actually really funny. <laughs> you look at the back. I don't know if you can get like a still shot of this. For, to read because it's just really funny. So you can read you can read that and laugh. Pause it and read it. It's hilarious. And then they do these terrible like versions of Schubert's Serenade, Chopin's Nocturne in E flat, otherwise known as Among My Souvenirs. What? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, just wiggle, careful. Actually, the tip of this palette knife is, is bent a little bit, which, that's not cool. Oh, another thing you can do is just put your hot water here, yeah? Put your nice, nice boiling, you can get it as hot as you want. Um, th this, this is just gonna pop right off, though. Without, hopefully, without any... Mm. Or, Oda. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes mm, this block is, is, um, is being a rebel. So yeah, this paper um, is actually, I put it on with contact cement. Not contact cement, um, yeah, it's like this uhu uhu spray glue that you get in Germany, in Austria. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, now you know. Sometimes this is not easy, you know, and you may be tempted to force it, you know. Don't do that. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna pop loose in a second. Hold on. Whoa. Actually, it's only like five, 10 seconds later. It's not gonna be, it, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's under the paper, so the paper is actually lifting. Okay, so now it's gonna come. Oh, did I even do this block yet? Okay. Careful. Mm. Right? Here we go. Something's holding. What is holding? Is it just paper? This is just a phone. Okay. It's just held by the paper, I think. Oh, oh, oh. What's holding it? I can't. <gasps> yeah, it's just held by little strands of paper. So here, here it's held. Oh, 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 oh! I heard, I heard a noise. It was like cook. Yeah, it's just paper. Okay, here we go. Those noises. Are, so it's gonna be ugly. I told you. Look, <laughs> it's ugly on the other side. But that's fine. Um, because what we're going to do is clean all this up, this paper, um, and then we're going to put it on a shooting board, which is, um, 
Wow, that's cool. You're actually holding it, you know, in your hands for the first time. That's really cool. Sorry, you got a flash of my nakedness. <laughs> that's just not a nice noise. But anyway, <clears throat> so the glue is dried on this like crazy tea, tea base that I made and when I, when I built it, it was this way, right? Top, don't forget, right? Remember the very first lesson when you made this? The, the top block only cuts in one direction. Don't lose track of what's the top and what's the back, right? <laughs> um, but you can see now all the paper, all the ugliness of the paper is gone and it's a beautiful, beautiful rib structure. Um, yeah, so this part, this part has linings that we that we did yesterday, and I'm just getting it flat. Oh, that sounds wonderful, huh? Yeah, um, it's pretty much ready. So that that's it. That's linings. Um, now um, I heat up the iron and um, and do linings on the back. Woohoo!